Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and it's time once again for Fan Mail Friday. And you may notice that I'm wearing a hat, and that's because my hair is horrifically awful. Even, even too awful for my video. Uh, I've got some fan mail here. You're watching. Let's do this. Are you ready? Go. There you are. I was afraid I was going to have to go through this pile of mail by myself, and thankfully I'm not. Let's... All right. The hat is in business mode, and this first piece of mail is kind of interesting and important, and I'll explain why in just a moment. It's... Well, it's from the same person. And... Let's see. I will... Is this the one? Maybe this is the one. Ah, it's addressed, Dear Joel. This is the second letter I've mailed as I think the first got lost and it's now been a month since I sent it. So I'm gonna stop right there because what's important to know is that any fan mail I get gets put into an inbox and then when I have the time and the resources and the ability to make a fan mail Friday video, I gather up all of that fan mail, which happened to be looking like this, and then I make that video. So even though you sent the second one, I still had your first one and I just haven't had a chance to put it on camera yet and I'm really sorry about that. So if anybody is considering sending me anything at all, don't hesitate to reach out to me to ask if I've received it. And that way we don't have to have you sending things twice, three times, 10 times, whatever it takes. So here's what's great about this. This, this person, William, is 14 years old. Not only did he send two different letters thinking the first one had gotten lost, he included everything twice. So William, thank you very much. There's this, this interesting piece and there's this envelope, which is good. But then right here is an interesting piece and this this envelope and stuff. So let's, I'll tell you what, William, I'm gonna read the first one. Dear Joel, my name is William Robbins and I am 14 years old. Hopefully you are reading this before you brought out the prints because one of them has my phone number on it. Yeah, I covered that up. I am typing this because I love your channel and because my handwriting is illegible. I've been printing since my birthday using my Monoprice Mini and I recently bought the Anet A8 because I just love 3D printing. Now to the enclosed items. The two items were both ideas that I created and wanted others to see and try themselves. The first is a business card which I created through Tinkercad. And I can show that off as long as I cover up the phone number. So there it is. Looks like that. However, the second item is a lot weirder and I found the idea accidentally. I don't know if anyone has ever done this before, but I melted a cube on newspaper using a heat gun and when I was cleaning off the paper, I noticed the image had copied over like silly putty. So I included my most successful try at that, which was done by melting a one millimeter sheet and then pushing down on it and washing off the paper. If you're gonna try this yourself, use clear filament and then when it melts, wait until you can see most of the photo clearly before pushing down. So that's kind of interesting. Look at that. That's kind of cool. I also included a ping pong paddle last minute because it's one of my favorite prints that needs hands on work too. Look at that, I could totally play games with this. High five, have a great day, William. William, you are rad. You sent things twice. I'm very sorry about that, uh, but the $5 that you included in the first one was not lost, and the $2 that you included in the second one wasn't lost. These, of course, will go into the bank as I have not put together the bigger bank yet, but Let's get to it. First things first. And William, thank you very much. I really appreciate this. And of course you get a sticker. All right, moving on to this envelope. It looks like it's from Steve. Ooh, it's from Steve. And there's some good stuff in there. Holy cromole. All right. Ooh, oh, these are decals. Holy cats. All right, there's the decal. Oh, this is, this is too cool. <laughs> 
And look at that. There it is. The, the instructions in the back. Rub decal. Surface must be clean and dry. Lay decal face down on flat surface. Carefully peel backing off of decal. Place decal onto clean surface and rub. Careful. Oh, it's all the same thing. Okay. But look. Look at that. So these get applied to things. So then you, you take the back off and then you push and then you peel off. So that's kind of cool. All right. There are two envelopes and one is addressed to one person and the other is addressed to another let's um that's holy cow that's an andrew jackson right there joel greetings from indiana i really enjoy your channel and as a four month old to 3d printing your tips and reviews have helped a bunch keep up the good work my printer is the prushai 3 mark 2 kit and i have to say i love it it just works so well it is nice to see your dedication to fundraising, so I thought I would say hi and help you along. I have enclosed a few decals, not stickers, it says that, for you to do with as you see fit. Keep them, give them away, or send them out for donations. Decals are one of my hobbies as it is a computer based as it is computer based and it's fun to do custom items for people most of the time. My good friend Liquor Store Larry is a huge fan of yours, so I thought I would surprise him with one of your stickers as well. Enjoy the decals and add the contribution to the box. See you at Midwest Rep Rap Festival in a couple weeks. Thanks, Steve. Um, well, Steve, so Liquor Store Larry, if Liquor Store Larry is a huge fan of mine and I just read Liquor Store Larry's name, then Liquor Store Larry is going to know that Liquor Store Larry is one of the people on that envelope. That's not so much a surprise. But these are awesome, Steve. Thank you so, so very much. I think you know what happens next. First things first. And it would appear that you get a sticker and Larry gets a sticker. I think I know what's coming next because this is from a Mr. Bob Claggett. You may know him as Bob at I Like to Make Stuff. Oh yeah. Do 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 Yes. Okay, first. Oh Bob. Look at these stickers. There's that one. And then there's the maker, and then there's the I like to make stuff sticker. Bob's sticker game is pretty intense. However, this, this is something else. Bob has himself a glow forge and has been cutting wood and acrylics, I think, and other stuff, and just doing cool stuff with it. And so he had these awards he was doing, and I, I know Bob personally. He's a friend of mine. I said, hey, Bob, how about you give me a high five champ award? And he's like, no problem, Joel. How sweet is this? All right, Bob, you're an amazing human. I'm going to put these back in the package so I don't lose them. Thank you very much. Uh, you didn't include a self-addressed stamped envelope, Bob. What are you doing? So instead, I will personally deliver your sticker, stickers, and a high five at Bay Area Maker Fair. I grab this box, and this box is from a Matthew. From a Matthew. Let's see. Okay, there's something here. There is an envelope. Okay, and there's something in the envelope. Look at that. That's a $5 bill. Hi, Joel. My name is Matthew. I am 13 years old, and I just received my first 3D printer, a Flash Forge Creator Pro, last Christmas. Aw, Matthew, that's awesome. My first 3D printer was a Flash Forge Creator Pro, and I, too, received it for a Christmas. Your videos are very helpful, and I really enjoy watching them every day. One question I have is, do you have any tips for beginners? I do. I do, and uh, I think I released a video on that late last year. Uh, I will try to remember to put a link in the description. But if I forget, because it is late, just go look up my five tips for 3D printing or something like that. I'm so sorry. I, if someone else knows what video I'm talking about, put the link in the description if you can, or in the comments or wherever it goes. I have designed and 3D printed a 3D printing nerd phone holder. I see you always have your phone by you in your videos, streams. Yeah, I do. So I decided to make you a little something. My prints are not that great yet, but they are slowly getting better. If you want to download and print it, I have uploaded the file to Thingiverse. I hope you like it. Ooh. It is thing number 20956484. Oh, and there's two. Matthew included two. Let's see. One was acetone smoothed, and the other was printed in another orientation, he said. Okay. Sure wraps nice. Ooh, this is... 
Oh, you guys, look at this. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, look at that. Two little phone holders. I like it. I guess the real test is, of course, does it work? I don't know if you can see this, but I, I control my camera with my phone. Ha! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, crap. All right. Um, no, these are great, Matthew. These are wonderful. I just happen to have an extremely large phone. So what I could do is put that there, put a little bit of tape maybe there, and then, and then it will hold the phone. So really you didn't include a two, you included one with some friendly support and that's awfully kind of you. All right, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry. All right, Matthew, look at that. You included $5. I think you know what that means. First things first. Matthew, you're a wonderful human. You get a sticker. All right, here's this one. This is from, this is from Micro Swiss, my friends at Micro Swiss. And, oh, okay. Micro Swiss usually offers plated nozzle, like a, a nickel plating on their nozzles and they're wear resistant. But these are hardened. I don't know if you can see that, but these are hardened nozzles. That's interesting. And it looks like, M6, oh, oh, okay. Looks like these are for the Prusa Mark II and the Olsen block on the Ultimaker 2 Plus. That's kind of exciting. I've been wanting to print with some harsher materials on the Ultimaker. Like I wanna get some really good carbon fiber material. This will come in handy. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. All right, this one is from I don't know where. It does say Swiss Post, so I believe this is European. All right, here's a self-addressed stamped envelope. Here's that, here's some, oh, that looks like chocolate. Oh, and a bunch of singles. Oh, and some fives. <laughs> okay, wait, I think I know what's going on. This is all the US money they could find because they're not here in the States. That's, that's awesome. Okay, this is from Philip. Hi, Philip. Hi, Joel. I imagine it gets pretty tiring for you to read through all the fan mail. That's why I'm going to make it quick. Here's some Swiss chocolate, enjoy. Wait, what are you saying? I am just being lazy? Okay, I'll add some more sentences. First, why chocolate? Because I am from Switzerland and stereotypes, duh. I insist you try the chocolate on air. All right, I'll do that after I read this. Idea, buy some artificial chocolate flavor and use it in your wildcard series with protopasta, chocolate filament. Alex, if you're seeing this, take notes. Also, your stuff is awesome. I really like watching your videos and your streams. The reason I like them is you are so genuine. Well, thank you. You are not some persona that some YouTuber invented. You are yourself the original, telling us what you think and not some carefully pre-written words. That in the fact, even though you are kind of famous, you still <laughs> remain down to earth. And I have a good attitude and I'm one of the best creators on YouTube. P.S. I didn't find any U.S. stamps, but I hope I include enough money for the hospital and some stamps. Philip, you did. First, thank you for the incredibly kind words. Part of, part of my persona and my online presence here on YouTube is that it's not an adjustment from how I am in real life. There's a lot of people that I meet nowadays and I meet them and I talk to them and their words are, you were just like on your videos and it's, it's true. So I, I try to be myself, Philip, and I, and I try to maintain that honesty and that commitment to, to you I have as my audience and my viewer and my fan. So it, it really means a lot that you recognize that and that's what you see. So thank you very much. Plus, Dude, you gave me frickin' chocolate. All right, I'm gonna try it. Migros, Migros, okay. This is exciting. I mean, I like chocolate. And apparently, I'm supposed to have some chocolate filament. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? 
I don't even know if I'm opening this right. Is this how you open chocolate from the, from the, the European Union? Oh no, oh, two pieces, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a good chocolate. Thank you, Philip. <laughs> okay, it's gonna take a little bit to get this money in because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, plus five is seventeen dollars. My goodness, I'm gonna have to put this in the uh, the Mario Cube bank in batches. <laughs> I don't even know if this is. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Looks like it'll take three at a time. Here's the last bit of it. Get in there. No, no, no. Ha. Oh, oh. All right, Philip. You gave me chocolate. I'm going to give you a sticker. All right, last and certainly not least is this box. Ooh. It is a Pikachu battery. Oh, I love this. I remember talking to someone about this a long time ago. Oh, this is from Michael. That's right. Oh, there's a cut right there. Okay. We good? I got everything. I just want to make sure. Oh, I didn't get everything. I didn't get everything. <laughs> Little money clips. That's fantastic. Dear Joel, the 3D printing nerd. Hi there, it's Mike, AKA Midnight Gi Midnight Giant. What's up, dude? I sent you a shocking gift that I hope you like. I was inspired by your daughter printing all those tiny Pikachus on the video you uploaded so long ago. I call it the Pika battery. I'm sorry it took so long to send one to you. I printed it on my two Rostog V2s and Flash Forge Dreamer printers. I'm proud to be a supporter of someone who wants to help and grow the 3D printing community. Thank you, Michael. Along with the print, I've included $2 for the question block. I just showed you those, oops. I'll be going to the RepRap event in Indiana. Hope to see you there. Absolutely, I will be at the Midwest RepRap Festival in uh, like a week. That's great. One question, what is your preferred bed adhesion for printing with PLA and ABS? I use glue sticks and build tack myself, your friend, the Midnight Giant, hashtag high five. Well, um, I don't do a lot of ABS printing. When I did, um, I used, oh, what I use? I, I did it all on my FlashForge Creator Pro and I would use Captain Tape that was wiped down with isopropyl alcohol. I then moved to blue tape and heated the bed to 110 degrees Celsius. Um, Beyond that, uh, for PLA, I love uh, heated build tack. I love glass with just a thin sliver of PVA glue on it. Those two seem to, uh, the PEI sheets on the, the Prusa and the Lulzbots, those work great as well. Uh, I haven't, the Cubicon has a Garolite bed and it holds ABS pretty well, like 98% well, but I, I still get some corner lift, so I don't include that. There you go, but this, is epic. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to show my daughter. This is amazing. You know what I could do? I could, I could print a bunch of these Pikachus in glow in the dark and then the battery would glow. Or maybe I could fit some LEDs in there. Ooh, okay, this is exciting. Well, first things first, it's awesome. Oh, okay. At Midwest Rep Rap Festival, you're gonna have to make sure and get my attention because uh, you're gonna be on camera, dude. All right, those are in, right? All right, Mr. Midnight Giant. You gave me a Pika battery. I give you a sticker. Well, hey, that was fun. That was a decent Fan Mail Friday. Uh, if you're a new subscriber to the channel, then a Fan Mail Friday is something I try to do when I, I do have the chance. I do get fan mail. My fan mail address is at the bottom of the description of every video I put out there. 
if you want to send me some fan mail, feel free. I, I try to read it here on the uh, on the Fan Mail Friday videos, and then uh, the dollars and the money that comes in that I put into this question block at the end of the year get donated to Seattle Children's Hospital via the One Big Kiss for Seattle Children's Radiothon that's being held by 106.1 KISS FM, a local radio station. That's pretty cool. Well, a big thanks for anybody who stuck around this long to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Thanks again for everything. Anybody who sends me anything, it's completely optional and I'm eternally grateful for anyone that actually watches what I produce. Don't forget to hug each other more often. I love you guys. As always, high five.